Welcome to the two fact tutorials of Autodesk Maya. All right, so we'll continue to tool fact randomizer. Let's deal with color mode. In this mode, items panel will accept materials and components that can be material assignable, like face, transform, so on and so forth. Internals panel accepts vector attributes which have three elements like color, out color, ambient color, incandescence, so on and so forth. All right. Color method combo box over here has three options, direct, fine, and assign. If you're gonna add materials to the items panel, use direct mode. If you're gonna add objects or faces to the items panel, you may use find to find their materials, then process upon them. Or you may use assign to assign brand new materials, then process upon them. If you select assign, this editable combo box over here is activated to type which kind of material you would like to create. All right, there are four color modules you can choose. Grayscale, red, green, blue, hue saturation, volume, hue saturation, lightness. The latter three have three random functions which represent channels of RGB, HSV, HSL separately. You'll get more detailed information about sequential functions in one of the future videos. Click on the randomize button to see results. All right, let's create a brand new polygon cube and let's duplicate it using duplicate special, nine copies, translate X2, click on the apply button, select all of them, translate Z2, click on the apply button, select all of them, load them. And we have to use assign option because initially all of objects over here are assigned to the exact same initial material. So we have to create brand new materials. So let's click on the randomize button. All right. We can now use find option to find their materials and process upon them. We don't have to use assign option because it's waste of resources because it will create new materials every single time. All right, click on the randomize button. Let's change red channel to one, green channel to one, which will give us some kind of yellowish results. Let's take a look at hue saturation volume, make hue one, click on the randomize button, which will give us some kind of reddish results have a look at hue saturation lightness and range lightness some kind of 0 0.75 to 1 and click on the randomize button which will give us light color results all right you can also take faces to assign new materials as i already stated so let's create a brand new polygon sphere, select its faces, load them, check flat checkbox, load them, and click on the randomize button. Even before doing that, let's set a sign option and click on the randomize button to see the result. All right. Same item set rule and internal set rule for object mode are also valid for color mode. So let's go to top camera, select these cubes, clear the panel, enable set checkbox, append them. And for these ones and those ones, these ones, that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, and finally this one. Switch back the perspective camera, 
click on the randomize button to see results. You can also use space separator instead of new line for attributes and click on the randomize button to see results. It will give us grayscale results even if we are in RGB mode because color red, color green, color blue are assigned to the same exact random volume. All right, let's deal with replace mode. In this mode, both of items panel and internals panel will accept objects. At every single iteration, one of objects written in the internals panel will be picked. Randoms panel specifies how many items in the items panel will be selected to be replaced. So your random value must be between one and items count to pick properly. You can achieve your replacements by copying or instancing the source item. All right, this copied or instanced object will be moved to position of the destination item by matching their either rotate pivots or scale pivots. Then you can transfer, rotate, and scale attributes if you wish so. Click on the randomize button to see results. So let's go to object mode and type rotate x, rotate y, rotate z, range something like negative 90, positive 90. Click on the randomize button, disable set checkbox, select all of them, load them again. Click on the randomize button. Let's type scale x, scale y, scale z range something like 0 0.2, 1.6 and click on the randomize button and get back to replace mode and create brand new polygon cube again and cylinder and cone and torus pipe helix all right Let's scale these a little bit down to match the size of this cube over here for the sake of this tutorial. And this one, and that one, and this one. All right, let's select them, load them, and set randoms something like solo 100. So every single items over here will be replaced and click on the randomize button to see results you can realize scaling and rotation attributes are transferred you can also use instance instead of copy and click on the randomize button so let's check over here the result of instancing all right Same item set rule for object mode is also valid for replace mode. So let's go to top camera, select these objects, clear the panel, enable set checkbox, append, these ones append, those ones append, this one append, that one append, this one append, that one append. This one append, that one append, and finally this one append. Get back to perspective camera and set random to solo 10 because items count is changed now. Click on the randomize button to see results. Now you can realize these items are replaced with exactly same item. All right. Internal set checkbox is disabled because you can't replace one object to multiple objects with keeping same names. You can make a single group from multiple objects and use that anyway. All right. Thanks for watching me. See you in the next video.